78 concrete frame members failed in the design check so do you want to select them yes so here the software selected all these members when i go in the view i do not see make uh, selected objects invisible or invert visibility of object or, or only show selected objects only this option will able uh, enable only when i uncheck this mod uh, uncheck the model or unlock the model okay i basically i will go back and increase the sections of the beams and columns and then i will come back in the uh, again run analysis and design okay here i will go okay so at these locations members are going to fail here i am going to uh, view show selected objects only okay so here you can see uh, three columns are failing and lot of members are uh, beam members are failing so uh, you have to basically uh, change the size of beams one by one or you can change the sizes of beams of all the story of one story beam sizes are different other story are different so for demonstration i will just increase the sizes of all the columns and all the beams just uh, by uh, just uh, increase uh, in, uh, by increasing uh, or assigning all the beams one size here in the define section properties frame section here i have already defined beam 300 by 450 300 by 600 column 300 by 300 450 by 450 column 600 by 600 let's see uh, what are the sizes of column beams here i have signed the 300 by 450 now i will change uh, all these columns here from up i will select all the beams and go to assign frame section section properties here i will assign the higher beam section apply okay and in the column you can select all three columns and go to assign uh, frame section section properties here i have selected from 300 to uh, 450 by 450 millimeter apply okay now you can see column sizes have been assigned now i will again click show all objects okay section sizes have been revised now i will again run analysis and then design okay now analysis is complete now i will again go design concrete frame design and then start design slash check okay now the design is complete now i will again go in the design concrete frame design and check how many members are passed now still the 28 concrete frame members are failing do you want to select them yes okay let's see uh, okay now 
only the beam members are failing all columns members are passed so now basically i have to again increase the sizes of these columns beams okay for more uh, depth is required for the beams okay so now basically in this i will assign all the beams and all the columns for example here uh, to uh, same section to all the beams and same section to all the columns so you will see the difference properties frame section uh, here i am going to select frame section section properties here i am selecting all the columns okay now i will go assign frame section section properties here i am giving 600 by 600 a heavier section okay now i will again select uh, select section properties here I will select all the beams okay and go to assign frame section section properties 300 by 600 apply okay now I will again run analysis and then design you will repeat this process until you satisfy all your beams and column members okay again analysis is complete now i will go design concrete frame design start design, start design slash check okay now i will again go into design concrete frame design verify all members are passed so basically what i did i uh, make the homogeneity or make the structure homogeneous with all same section of beams with all same section of columns okay so now you can see all the informations about beams columns like for example here is column here is uh, roundly about uh, 3600 millimeter square area of steel is required in the column here i will when I, uh, when i right click on the column so here only longitudinal reinforcement is required no shared steel is required okay so you can see in well uh, beam column details means uh, beam column capacity details uh, joint shear shear details plug gear details summary interaction okay you can see the interactions in the summary you will get all the data about section uh, properties and that is a section that uh, that is a critical combination on which this member have been designed this is the section properties beam width height etc material property design code parameters here is a axial force and biaxial moments axial force is this one moments are this one okay here is a uh, rebar area millimeter scale that is a 3600 millimeter scale rebar percentage one percent okay in seismic design the core says for example special moment resisting frames and intermediate moment resisting frames uh, the minimum reinforcement requirement is one percent and maximum is six percent but in ordinary moment resisting frame the minimum requirement is one percent and the maximum is the eight percent okay here is also shear detail here is a beam column capacity details okay so that is a strong column beam uh, weak beam uh, criteria is also satisfying okay so that's how you can see the details of columns and similarly at in beams uh, the software shows the reinforcement at three locations okay one by third to one by third to two by third 
and 2 by 3 to to full length of the beam when i right click i can see the reinforcement okay for example this is the beam length uh, here for example here 1.4d combination 0 0 0.3 then this is the interval increase okay here is 6.2 so that's how software will uh, at each location calculate top steel bottom steel shear steel okay similarly you can again see the summary fluctuate details means uh, again moments but reinforcement are coming okay here is uh, required area of steel but the minimum area of steel is more so definitely we will provide the minimum area of steel and when you right click on any beam the software automatically take uh, you to critical combination where the maximum steel is required okay similarly you can see all more informations related to shear enforcement percentage of steel for example how much percentage area uh, here one percent here is 0 0.2 all the percentages uh, shear enforcement you can also display the shear enforcement okay here is the shear enforcement and how you will uh, apply the spacing and what number of bar of area of steel I will discuss in the next lectures okay here uh, column beam ratio torsion so all this information you can dis uh, see uh, one by one uh, by playing these options now I will go in the shear design also there are basically uh, one core shear wall and there are uh, two shear walls on the left side and two shear wall on the right side in the 3d model uh, how to design there are basically three uh, methods for the design of shear wall uh, i will again discuss the detail analysis and design of shear walls in the next lectures here a quick uh, way of designing i will click uh, start designs let's check okay now the design of shear wall is also complete here is a pure longitudinal reinforcement is appearing in millimeters here here i will just rotate this view okay so you can see the reinforcement here at the bottom uh, 34000 millimeter square area of reinforcement is required okay then in the upper portion the area of steel is re reducing here in the upper portion basically the software is clicking the next side here uh, 4000 millimeter square okay similarly software has designed all the so you can also see the details of reinforcement by right clicking on any shear wall okay here this shear wall you have selected all the parameters okay moments okay c depth c limits all these i will discuss definitely in the next lectures and for example if you want to see the core wall okay so there is one option uh, you can set the elevation or you will you can just uh, enable the view of the shear walls only here i will select uh, properties wall section here i have selected all the walls now view view 
show selected objects only okay so now i can rotate and see the information regarding the shear wall okay so similarly you can also see more details about uh, the longitudinal reinforcement shear reinforcement percentage reward okay so here is pier demand versus uh, slash capacity ratios here so you can also play with these options but definitely i will discuss the shear wall design by three, three different methods uh, in the coming lectures so that's all for uh, equivalent static method so have a nice day